here with Cleveland Browns 2022 Courage Award recipient, Jack Conklin. Jack, thank you for joining us. Well, thanks for having me on. Um, you know, it's huge. There really aren't many awards in the NFL that are voted on by the team, by your peers. And, um, you know, obviously this one comes with coming off an injury and to be able to have my teammates see how hard I worked and um, deemed me as a suitable candidate for the award. Um, I couldn't ask for, a, for um, a more meaningful award at that point to be able to have them see, all, you know, see me at my lowest and see how hard I worked to get back on the field and, and be with them and, and uh, vote for me. That, that was awesome. Well, luckily the the elbow was uh, relatively quick. It was uh, I, I dislocated my elbow, but luckily I didn't hit any of the uh, the tendons. So that one was able to it just needed mostly rest and some rehab. The uh, the knee was the more brutal one with uh, um, tearing my um, my patella tendon. My patella tendon off the my knee tore off completely off of one side of my knee. So that was uh, that was quite the quite the injury. You know, similar to an ACL. Um, where it's just it's just a long process it's, you, going into it, you know it's going to be you know nine to ten months and you know that could be daunting but at least um you know at least it's, i say at least but you know i've tore my other acl mcl so at least i knew the process of um what what it meant going into it with coming back and you know what the work that was going to come and and what i had to do and just i think the biggest mindset was the, the mentality of the positivity just knowing that you know with, with the training staff we have and um, and the strength staff that if I just follow, you know, follow their direction and stay positive, that you know, I, I would get better. Whew. that's a tough one. Uh, Football-wise, um, I, I went to Michigan State, but, but both my parents went to Michigan, so I grew up. I, I grew up loving Jake Long as a offensive tackle. You know, I wanted to play offensive tackle in Michigan. That was that was my dream, and it's kind of funny. Uh, you end up going to Michigan State, but uh, he was definitely that guy that I, I grew up watching and, and idolizing. Oh, geez, my favorite purchase. Um, well, I think probably probably now we just we bought a house in Cleveland that we're remodeling, and it's Cleveland's going to be our. Our, our forever home this is where we're going to raise our kids are going to where they go to school and where they're going to go to school for the rest of their lives and I think just being able to um, be at the point now in my career where we can just kind of decide you know where we want to spend the rest of our life because uh, all football as we all know only lasts so long and and um, to love Cleveland so much in the city I think just means so much more being able to buy the house here and, and, and know it's going to be where we, we live for a long time. I think it's kind of a, a bigger one where my, my junior year of high school, we went, I won nine. We lost every game. And then um, my senior year, we were able to, you know, turn the program around and go to seven and four and make the second round of the playoffs. And, you know, I always think about just the, the group of guys that um, I grew up with in high school and I've been able to, with, as a group, help turn around our, our program at our high school. And, and they've really done a great job since. And I think just I always go back to that and just seeing how drastic things can change with, with hard work and with a group that believes in each other. Oh, I'm biased, but I'll say I'll say Miles Garrett. There you go. There having you go. to go. Yeah. Having to go against him in practice every day. I mean, I'm just happy I don't have to on Sunday. So. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's, uh, it's really cool to kind of get recognized by this. And um, I just know it's super meaningful to get that recognition from your, your peers, right? Like coaches, players, your organization puts this together. And then all these guys across the league, uh, it's just really special to, to be a part of something like this. I appreciate you guys putting it on.